Thank you for joining us. This tutorial is going to cover setting up differential pairs and the constraint manager to prepare for routing. If you did not define your differential pairs at the schematic level, go to Setup, Add Differential Pairs. Click Auto Generate. Add DP for the name and set the polarity to positive and negative. Click Generate. Since this was completed at the schematic level, I'm going to close out of the window. In the Design Workflow, select Mode. Here you can control which constraints are on and off. Set the electrical constraints to on and ensure the physical constraints are set to on. Close the modes window. Select physical from the design workflow. This opens the constraint manager window. In the constraint manager, you have the ability to assign electrical, physical, and spacing constraints. To assign constraints, you can either create C sets or assign values at each individual net. In the worksheet selector, select physical all layers. Right click and select create physical C set. Name the CSET power underscore ground and click OK. Set values for the minimum line width, minimum neck, and maximum neck length. Create another physical CSET for the differential pair. Right click and select create physical CSET. Name the constraint set DP and click OK. Set values for line width and primary gap. In the worksheet selector, select net all layers. In the reference CSET column, assign the power and ground CSET to 3.3 volts and ground. Assign the differential pair CSET to DPD. Assigning the constraint at the top level will apply the values to each net. Select electrical, electrical constraint set, routing from the worksheet selector. In the constraint window, right click and select create electrical CSET. Name the CSET DP. Set Gather Control to Ignore and add values for the uncoupled length and static phase tolerance. In the Worksheet Selector, select Net, Routing, and assign the CSET to Differential Pair DPD. In the Worksheet Selector, select Properties. Assign 0 volts to Ground Net and 3.3 volts to Power. This will make routing easier. Close out of the Constraint Manager window. New in version 17.4 is the Design Sync feature, which allows seamless communication between the schematic and PCB. In ORCAD Capture, select PCB Design Sync from the menu, or in the project hierarchy, right click on the PCBTutorial.brd in the layout folder and select Design Sync. In the Design Sync window, you can view the differences between a schematic and PCB and synchronize the design. The preview window displays the change type, object, action, new value, and old value. If the arrow is positioned from the schematic to layout, changes are annotated from capture to PCB. If the arrow is positioned from layout to schematic, changes in the PCB are back annotated to the capture schematic to ensure the physical board design is consistent with the logical schematic design. You can customize the design sync features here or by selecting PCB design sync setup from the menu. Select Sync to update the design. Join us in the next video where we will discuss shapes and copper pores.